and I've had a lot of people ask me how to get this ABS pump off and I really didn't make a video uh, earlier when I changed it but I should have but I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys how it comes off and it's pretty easy if you have just some simple mechanical tools now for my expedition I got this humongous air cleaner here uh, I just moved it out of the way and it gave me a lot more room to get down into that ABS pump down there and the other option is if you want you can take off your master cylinder it will give you a lot more room to work with uh, just a couple of plugs you got a couple of nuts down there you pop off and you got two brake lines and I got my wrenches set up here just to explain something to you now if you didn't watch my other video on how to replace a sinking a pedal a master cylinder uh, sometimes these lines when you break them loose uh, the whole line will turn with this nut now go back and watch my video and you'll see how I actually got this nut to break free without breaking this line off very important and of course you got to have a set of these uh, brake line wrenches I would highly recommend to go out and buy some they're very cheap you can get like five or six of these all different sizes for less than twenty dollars and the other uh, nut here that I had little trouble with uh, breaking loose is right here, and it was it was a, a 5.8. So you got to have some brake line wrenches. Don't even try to use something like this because you will just round off the nut, and you'll go home crying to your mom like I almost did. <laughs> so uh, once you get beyond that point, then you'll have all this room here. You can get down into the ABS pump and start taking it apart. Now I've got my old one set up inside my little garage and I'll go in there and I'll explain how to take it off which is uh, pretty simple. And here is my old pump. It is uh, basically setting here on a little cloth. Now the two brake lines have come out of the master cylinder. Go in the bottom here and I've got a couple of old ones here just for video purposes just kind of laying here. When you start on this, first thing you want to do, you want to take these three lines off on the top. Now this one particular uh, line is a half inch so uh, like I said don't use a wrench go out and buy something like this I don't have a set but that is on my list I will be getting me a set of these pretty soon um, once you get this loose start taking these out here like this one at a time take the first row out and then like the second one here is uh, a 7 16 so make sure you get a, a good brake wrench get on there it may be a little rusty but you may have to work it back and forth but it will clean off take that out and so forth the next one take it out then you go down on the bottom and you take the two out uh, that go into the bottom of the master cylinder and you do the same thing now if your brake line starts to turn with the nut what you want to do is get your little propane torch put a little heat on it and get a little hammer i have this one here sometimes you have to just kind of tap on these uh, lines until they actually break free and when they break free uh they'll come off and as you're trying to take these lines off, put your wrench on there and just kind of work it uh, back and forth, back and forth until uh, the, the nut starts to turn without turning the uh, line. And eventually that nut will free up because you don't want to end up replacing this entire line with uh, unions and fittings and all that. The idea is to get this back to factory the way it was. And once you get the two bottom lines off, like this, I'm holding the camera so I'm making sure that I'm still in focus. You pull them off the side and you can just kind of push your lines off the side and you're pretty much done at that point. Then you'll have a couple of nuts on the fender bolted on. These are 13 millimeters. You can get a socket in there deep well. Take those out and you will have one on the back side. Take it off. Then the only thing left you have this plug in the back. This one kind of fooled me for a while. Look, notice on the side here you got this um, thing that slides out. You have to pull out on this. Once you pull out like this, it releases this plug and it slowly lets this harness come off like that, which is kind of an interesting design. And that, and after you do that, you're basically ready to lift up on this bad boy and pull it out like this and you are done. Now, the other, uh, only other little tip I can give you, if you wanna take the unit completely from this frame that's bolted on, you do have a couple of these guys here uh, that are in here like this. I had to take a half inch socket and take a screwdriver, go in here and clean this up really good in order to get my half inch socket on there because I couldn't get a good bite. And it's on there pretty good. And once you break these loose like this, get this out of the way, and you got one on this side here that I've already kind of taken out for video purposes. And you can see these are pretty rusty. Once you get them out, then you can pull this out of the frame like this, and it's free and you can replace your uh, pump in the other bracket or clean it up 
or whatever. I basically cleaned my other bracket up and put my new one in. This is the old one that was on it and it was no good and my brake pedal was sinking to the floor. And that is basically how I took it out. So I hope I didn't confuse you guys too much, but like I said, the only difficulty you may have is getting these brake lines off. The nut, uh, the, the end of the housing may want to turn with the entire line. You just got to take your time, um, kind of tap it, work it back and forth, and if you can't get in there uh, to get the uh, bolts loose, sometimes I will take a small chisel, something get in there and just kind of tap it around. You know, just kind of, you don't want to bend it. Just enough to kind of break the uh, rust free so you can get that uh, nut turning. So uh, that's how I basically got it off. So uh, there you go. And uh, good luck. And like I said, if you have a sinking brake pedal, if you have an ABS system, don't overlook this guy. I was shocked. It's the first one I ever replaced that had a sinking brake pedal. A lot of people just say, place the master cylinder. That's fine. It works. If you don't have an ABS system, but if you have an ABS system and your brake pedal is sinking, check this guy out. It will probably be the issue. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time we talk, stay safe and talk to you then.